This is a ball of copper wire. If we put it on the scale here, we see that we've recovered 35 grams. I used this razor blade to scrape the insulator. My friend Tyler, he saved me this whole box of fluorescent bulb connector recycling. Sadly, not all the wire was copper. Here's an example of a wire right here. That's aluminum. So not all the wire is copper. We're gonna put this copper ball into this crucible here. Then we're gonna use a propane torch and time and heat up this dinky little graphite casting mold and this ceramic thing here. And I'm gonna pour the liquid copper into here. At least that's the idea. Well, despite extensive heating with the propane, it doesn't seem that the open air uh, torch can actually successfully melt the scrap copper, even with a generous amount of borax added. And that despite heating underneath the graphite mold with an additional torch, I got this whole setup searing hot and it's not hot enough. I suspected the propane's combustion temperature was not close enough to the melting point of copper to actually do this successfully. So now this will be an interesting task of cleaning up the crucible. All right. Well, Starlight Forge failed too. That's after half an hour. It's still glowing red hot, but even with all that reflective carbon, I still cannot get the copper to melt in the bowl. I know. Uh, round one, fail.